to dealing with estates? Oh yeah, that was that was definitely a go ahead to do what uh, what he's doing now and and what I fear in the future um, because of the fact that uh, because of mm-hmm. Obama's lack of foreign policy leadership and Putin's you know aggressiveness, I, you know really what I see this as becoming is is probably a potential World War stupid basically. Forget World War Three, it's you know World War stupid basically, and that's. Uh, that's that's a scary thought. I mean, it's it's very sobering, and you're you're just kind of looking things in the face and like going, "Gee, is a, is a common citizen, you know, is there anything that I can do about this?" The answer being no, and it's like, "Gee, you know, do we do we continue having hope, uh, you know, for the future or not?" And you know, it's 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 extremely scary the way that this is playing out. I would say. You know, you you people in the United States have an election in two years. Am I correct for the president for a new president? Since President Obama's term is only limited to two uh, to two terms. Constitutionally, yes. Um, and the fact of the matter is, is that we do have the midterm elections for several. Uh, well, of course, the House is up for mm-hmm. re-election, and then one third of the Senate is up for re-election as well in 2014. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of election, you know, electoral battles that are going on right now, and there's a lot of people saying that, you know, if we don't take back at least, you know, part of the, you know, the, the legislative branch at least, you mm-hmm. know, that. Uh, uh, that we could be in real trouble as far as putting in a dynasty is concerned, a.k.a. Hillary Clinton in 2016. What about Jeb Bush? Well, I think, you know, people are kind of of the same ilk uh, mm-hmm. regarding the fact that, you know, here it is, the past two Bushes have, you know, uh, have been, well, just, let's just put it this way, detrimental to our nation. And I think people are really, you know, really leery about having another Jeb Bush or another Bush period Mm -hmm. in office. And, uh, you know, there's other people that are, that are just as estranged by having another Clinton in office. It just seems to be, you know, more and more of a family run business as far as, uh, as far as the citizenry is concerned. Except for one major difference that I am very surprised that a lot of the media isn't picking up on. If, if, Hillary Clinton was to win the election, this would be the first time where a former president and a sitting president live in the White House at the same time. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, at the same, you know, it, it, yeah. And, and I'm sure they'll pick up on that. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure that that'll probably be a selling point because of the fact that it'll be the first woman president. You know, there'll be all these synchronicities sure. and stuff like that. And that'll probably be the cover for the, you know, a, a cover to basically, you know, uh, direct the, uh, the people's attention away from the real issues. And, uh, I would not be surprised if that comes up in the, in the near future or, or, or before the elections. Well, isn't it true that uh, that President Clinton's popularity is greater than that of President Obama at this point? Oh yeah, yeah. And as a matter of fact, uh, as you might realize, is that uh, President Clinton has basically saved Obama's bacon mm-hmm. uh, quite a few times by by slinging his his own weight. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, it it would not be surprising to me that that would be a factor in in uh, Hillary's uh, victory if that came to pass in 2016. And speaking about uh, President Clinton, uh, Monica Lewinsky is back in the news, and I, how will she? How would will her resurgence? play in the presidential if if Hillary decides to run and throws her hat in everybody knows she's going to I don't know why she's holding off so long uh, what is this going to do to Hillary uh, having Monica back in the news I don't really think that, that would have any effect I, no I would say that it would have kind of a tabloid effect but mm-hmm. I, I really don't see that as, as really having any sort of sway one way or another on her uh, on her candidacy or and or her presidency yeah, uh, I, I watched her on a number of news shows, and uh, she's just coming up and saying, basically, hey, listen, I, I was the scapegoat. We were two consensual adults. We had a sexual affair. It wasn't a one-sided event like was played in the media. And, and you know, then they showed a clip of Bill Clinton saying there was nothing to it. And then they showed another clip of him actually admitting to it. So why 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 is it that people are so eager to forget the negative when it comes to an election? Well, 
I, I think what it is is that people are hoping for change. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> you know, that's that's basically what it is. They're they're hoping for change, mm-hmm. but the thing is, is that it's it's really kind of a a demonstration of what Einstein called insanity. We're doing the same thing over and over again, and then expecting a different result. All right, but by having President Clinton and Hillary Clinton, both uh, let's call her President Clinton for now, wouldn't that put the United States in a very unique strategic? placement in the world since Bill has all this experience. He has a great following. He is well versed in in world affairs. And then you've got the former Secretary of State becoming the President of the United States. My God, that's one heck of a power yeah. duo. Well, it is, and that's why that's why the uh, uh, the Democrats in mm-hmm. the in the Senate are trying to da- downplay the uh, the Benghazi hearings uh, because that's exactly what they want. They want that powerhouse. Yeah, uh, Sec- uh, Secretary of State uh, Kerry has been subpoenaed or was subpoenaed. Yes, uh, has he has he gone before the uh, the committee yet? Uh, not, not, to, not to my knowledge. No. I've uh, been pl- paying attention to the top of the hour news, and I haven't yeah. heard anything about that yet. But I expected that to to happen probably within the next twenty four to forty eight hours. So, what are, what are your thoughts on that, Eric? Well, you know, I, I really do applaud the 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 ones who are coming forward and and saying we want the truth about mm-hmm. Benghazi because of the fact that that looks suspicious. Yeah. You know, from from the get go. Plus the um, plus the, the know, loss and, of the ambassador. And oh, two others, yeah. And and uh, I think that there are answers that need to be uh, that, that need to be uh, mm-hmm. uh, answered for here. Um, the people definitely want it, and and thank God there are some representatives and some senators that are saying, "Look, we want answers too." Yeah. And uh, with Harry Reid and his gang trying to shut that down, that just basically tells me that uh, you know that. Uh, one that there are powers that be that don't care, that really don't care about the truth, and that don't, you know are are basically kind of playing the Jack Nicholson role, saying to the American public, "Hey, you can't handle the truth." That's right. Doesn't in in my opinion, it shows that they are hiding something. They don't want something to come out. Oh yes. Out. <laughs> I try not to put you guys through that sort of torture. <laughs> Eric, stand by, old friend. We'll be back after the news. My name is Rob McConnell. This is the X Zone. Don't go away. Are you considering calling a psychic to read your situation? Then consider David Champion, a psychic medium for more than 20 years with thousands of readings under his belt. David Champion will make you feel comfortable. He has proven to be honest and accurate. He's a straight shooter. There's no guesswork. What he sees is what you get. While he is a medium, most of the calls focus on relationships, not only love, but work, school, neighbors, and more. Need help with finding a job and preparing for the interview? Are you dealing with people who are obstacles in your path? For more information, go to davidchampion.com, $1.50 per minute, paid by credit card, with a minimum of 30 minutes. For your reading with David Champion, call 1-877-702-8598. That's 1-877-702-8598. Now you can dial in to listen to the Exxon Radio Show from anywhere in the world with Rob McConnell 24-7, 365 by dialing 213-401-0080. That's 213-401-0080. If you have a mobile phone or landline, the Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell is now at your beck and call at 213-401-0080. That's 213-401-0080, 24-7. 365. And welcome back to the Exxon. Eric Stearns is my special guest. He is the U.S. Bureau Chief for the Exxon Radio Show and the Exxon TV Show and the X Chronicles newspaper. Uh, are you into sports, Eric? Uh, I, I follow it casually, yeah. I guess you could say. Donald Sterling. Here we've got a guy who, in the privacy of his own home, 
talking in a space where a person should be able to say whatever they want to say and without the expectation of a conversation being taped and then that tape being given to a me- to a media that has blown in my opinion something totally out of proportion you know how did how was yeah. he supposed to know that this girl that he was trying to hit on was recording him isn't that illegal uh, yeah, well, I mean, here it is. I mean, here it is. Is Rand Paul is su- suing the uh, NSA for exactly that reason? Yeah. And uh, yeah, you know, it is it is illegal because of the fact that California, I believe, is a two party state, meaning that both parties have to know and consent to the conversation being recorded. Yeah. Um, you know, like I, I believe that what a person says in the privacy of their own home is their business. Now, we don't know mm-hmm. what Magic Johnson is saying in his in the privacy of his own home. We don't know what uh, any other ethnic or race of celebrity, citizen, politician, whatever, is saying in the privacy of their own home. Now, a lot of people that we speak to on this show, Eric, are always complaining about Big Brother and how Big Brother is listening, and how Big Brother is watching. And yet, these are the same people who are leading the lynch mob on this poor guy, Sterling. Yeah. I don't get it. Well, I think what it is, is that, again, it's media sensationalism. That's that's really what it boils down to. Um, And you and I were talking during the break, and we were talking about, you know, President Obama... And it, how that, you know, because he's the first black president, that these issues are being raised in order to basically augment that, basically. And also, at the same time, you know, provide further divisiveness amongst the races, which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you know, you, you, you look back in history, and I've been a believer that in order to proceed successfully as a civilization we have to take the lessons that we have learned about in history and apply them to the present in order to have a more fruitful prosperous and meaningful future having said Absolutely. having said that when we look at how far how ter- you know how how far we have come uh, with a ma- uh, within the race card within the race card game to have something like this happen, all I see, and this is just my opinion, it's not the opinion of of, uh, of the Exxon Radio Show or any of our affiliates. So if you're going to send emails, send them to me at exxon at exxonradiotv.com because these are my personal feelings. These are my personal opinions. Number one, we don't know what is being said about other races by other races. And I use the example Magic Johnson or, yep. or even Oprah Winfrey. We don't know what she says in, in the privacy of our own, own home. You know, we don't even know right. what President Obama says. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> you know, if he has yep. a hard, if he has a hard day with, with, uh, with Secretary Kerry, or, or the the you know, the hard days he must have had with Secretary Clinton. We don't know what was said, right? Exactly. You know? We don't. So we have no idea. And and a person should be able to to say what they want to say in the privacy of their own home. Yep. So I agree. So with all these different people saying Big Brother is watching, um, you know, like this was this was something that. That should not have been said. Hey, if it was in public, I agree. Sure. But in my opinion, but this, it wasn't. this exactly this does not give the NBA the right to kick the guy out. It does not give the NBA the right to make him sell his team. Now I know that yes, they do have the right. Okay, I, I, yeah, they do. Okay. However, the information was gained illegally. 
Yes, and and not only that, I mean, it was very obvious that he was being extorted. I mean, basically, I mean, let's put it, mm -hmm. let's call a spade a spade. I mean, he was being a sugar daddy to this gal. That's right. And 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 uh, she probably got dissatisfied with what you know he was doing for her, or you know whatever, and she probably uh, decided to to basically extort him, and that's. Yep.